Welcome to the DeeperQuest Quick Setup Guide. In this video, you will learn about how to set up and start using your new bait boat to get the best experience out of it. Before you take it on a session, make sure that both the bait boat and the remote controller are charged. Install the Fish Deeper app and download the offline maps for your area. Once on the bank, unfold both the remote controller and the bait boat antennas. Find a spot for your tripod and attach the quick release plate. Slide in the phone holder until it locks in, attach the remote controller and insert your phone. To connect to DeeperQuest, first place it in the water. Switch on the remote controller and wait until it connects to the bait boat. Then select the DeeperQuest in available Wi-Fi networks. Open the Fish Deeper app and you're good to go. Click the bait boat icon in the top right corner to access the dashboard with advanced functions like autopilot. First, autopilot can navigate the bait boat to a marked point on the map. The number of GPS points you can store is unlimited. In the area scan mode, you can draw a rectangle zone on an area of your choice and the bait boat will scan it for you, as well as produce its complete bathymetric map. The route scan mode allows you to place multiple points on the map for the bait boat to follow. DeeperQuest will automatically mark a home point and the return home function can be accessed in the same dashboard. You can transport up to two kilograms or over four pounds of bait inside two separately controlled hoppers. Besides the dedicated buttons on the remote controller, hoppers can also be opened on the Fish Deeper app. The DeeperQuest bait boat features a specialized rig hopper designed for modern carp anglers. With it, you can transport conventional rigs as well as PVA elements without exposing them to water until they arrive to your spot. You can check the battery level on your remote controller. In the top left corner on the Fish Deeper app, as well as directly on the battery itself. At the end of your session, don't forget to wipe off any debris and dry the bait boat thoroughly. When not fishing, make sure the batteries are charged once every six months to ensure their longevity for your upcoming carp quests.